Greg Norman $260 million dispute. Here's what really happened. Greg Norman is currently in a pickle with the golf community and it doesn't sound funny at all. Are you aware that the controversy is going to potentially cost him over $260 million? Hello folks, in today's video we're going to be discussing in detail the Greg Norman $260 million controversy and the opinion of other pro golfers. Greg Norman is a retired professional golfer and an entrepreneur from Australia who has business interests in multiple enterprises. In 2021, the Aussie legendary golfer was named the CEO of Live Golf Investments LGI, a newly developed enterprise supported by the PIF Private Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia. Norman is credited to have said that the $260 million investment is just the beginning, and this was subject to controversies in the golfing community. Greg Norman subsequently rejected the allegation as he received backlash over a new 10 tournament series on the Asian Tour. Could this be Greg getting back at the PGA Tour? Why is the investment this huge? Keep watching to find out everything there is to know about the controversy and Greg's response to all of this. Greg Norman's Childhood Career and Marriage Gregory John Norman, born February 10, 1955 in Mount Isa, Queensland, Australia, is an Australian professional golfer who was widely known and successful worldwide from the 1970s to the 1990s. His dad, Mervyn, was an electrical engineer, while his mom, Toyoni, was the daughter of a carpenter of Finnish descent. As a youth, Greg performed excellently in contact sports, especially Australian rules football and rugby. His passion for golf set at the age of 15 when his mother, Tioni Norman, made him a caddy for herself. She had a single-figure handicap, taught her son, who was then 15 years old, how to golf, and not only him to caddy for her at the Virginia Golf Club, in Brisbane, in less than 18 months, young Greg went from a 27 handicap to a scratch handicap. Norman turned into a professional golfer when he was just 20. Norman's first victory was in the European Tour held in Scotland and the Tour event turned out to be an excellent start for his golfing career. In the course of his amazing golf career, Greg won 91 professional tournaments, 71 international and 20 PGA, recorded over 31 second place finishes on tour, and held the ranking of top golfer in the world convincingly for a total of 331 weeks. He won the British Open twice in 1986 and 1993, and his close calls at the Masters tournament, especially the 1996 tournament, where Greg squandered a six-stroke lead heading straight into the final day only to lose to Britain's Nick Faldo by five shots. At the peak of his career, he was ranked as the world's number one golfer and was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame. Greg has turned out to be one of the most successful athletes turned entrepreneurs as far as the industry of sports is concerned. Norman, nicknamed the Great White Shark, had many other things to keep him occupied except for his golfing career. Norman decided to step into the business industry before retiring from his golf career unlike many athletes. Greg Norman surpasses golf with multiple companies worldwide bearing his name and leading as a chairman and CEO. The iconic Unique Shark logo is a part of the Greg Norman Company, initially named Great White Shark Enterprises. While Norman enjoyed tremendous success in his golfing career, he married a former British tennis player and unfortunately separated after 25 years of togetherness. And soon after he married Chris and after his separation from his second wife, he married Kristen. He married Kirsten. Greg Norman's label consistently delivers high quality and inspires individuals to dive into life. Some of the major business industries of Norman are the food and drink industry, clothing and eyewear industries, and he made tremendous success in all the industries he entered in and his expected net worth may be around $400 million. Maybe we deviated a little bit, but of course we needed to know more about Greg and now let's talk about the $260 million controversy. Could Norman be trying to conquer the golf world? Norman was questioned by Golf Digest if the plans were made to take vagrances against the PGA Tour since the PGA Tour had rejected Norman's bid to set a world golf tour that he had proposed in 1994. Norman reported he in no way had similar plans to take vengeance. Norman further added, this is not an attack and this is all about the betterment of the golf game as simple and pure. And this idea of investing a considerable amount in the world of golf has been on his mind for a long time. Norman has done his fair share to increase the professional world of golf, 
and this is exactly what he's doing right now with a significant effect. The Aussie golf legend Greg Norman is now the chairperson of Live Golf Investment, a new firm backed by PIF Saudi Arabia, and Norman said the investment of at least $260 million in prize money over the next 10 years is only the beginning, amid rumors that he'll also become the commissioner of a new Saudi-formed breakaway golf league. However, he has received a lot of backlash from professional golfers and the PGA Tour. While Norman has voiced his opinion amid the backlash over a brand new 10-match series at the Asian Tours, affirming it's not an attack on the PGA Tour. The PGA Tour has increased the amount in some of its most significant tournaments in a season plan that drives the prize money approximately above $400 million. The move seems to be a natural reaction after Greg Norman directed company financed by Saudi Arabia's Wealth Fund drafted plans to infiltrate the $260 million into Asian tours as a measure towards constructing a world's golf tour, vowing guaranteed riches. The PGA Tour gains were agreed upon at a panel meeting in 2021, Houston summarized in a memo. Jay Monahan, the tour commissioner, reported to the press that they are prepared to grow faster in the coming decade prepared to their current position. Further, Monahan went on to confirm that the tour's prophecy of 55% of revenue will be going to players as prize money, bonus, and other needed benefit. In the past, few Australian money receivers on the PGA Tour where Cameron Smith earned approximately $6 million while Cameron Davies, Matt Jones and Mark Leishman all earned about $2 million. The memo notice was about to be revealed, however, it was given earlier than usual because of Norman's group announcement. There are also no details about the contending tours mentioned in the memo notice. While the PGA Tour formally handed details about the increasing prize money of the new season, which is nearly $1 million, however, the majors will not announce the money until the event is nearing. Greg Norman is now the head of golf's controversial shake-up, yet not everyone is so excited for the fellow Australian two-time champion legend. The strategic alliance agreed between the European Tour and PGA Tour in November 2020 was widely discussed as a reaction to the threat caused by the capable breakaway leaks. PIF and Greg Norman have been lambasted due to the low-grade human rights record of Saudi Arabia. Major champion winners Brooks Kepka and Justin Thomas said their focus is only on the US PGA instead of concentrating on the new golf tour backed by the Saudis circuit under the leadership of Greg Norman. The PGA US Tour events have responded by voicing their disapproval. The Super League, the new golf tour, will surely start this year and presents almost 10 significant events worldwide, which Asia Tours will fund. At the same time, the top golf stars will be guaranteed gigantic paydays. If any golfer participates in the new Super League revival circuit, the golfer will face lifetime bans from the US PGA events. This new golf tour idea is similar to the idea when Norman won in 1990, which led to the formation of WGC tournaments. Here's what pro golfers had to say about the controversy. The four-time champion Brooks Kepka reported that his entire focus is aimed at the US PGA events, and he further adds that it seems like a lot is going on in the world of golf, but however things are at the end of the day, his priority and focus will be playing at the US PGA tournaments and he is interested in only it. While the winner of the PGA Championship 2017, Justin Thomas said that he is very much interested in hopping into the new Super While the winner of the PGA Championship 2017, Justin Thomas said that he is very much interested in hopping into the new Supreme League. And he even added that he is focusing on his career on the US PGA tours and he will talk to other top level players at the same time. Amnesty International UK is examining whether this is an indication of a future Saudi-backed new Super League or yet another example of Saudi Arabia's attempt to scatter money in sport to wash its horrendous human rights record. While there is no coincidence of Saudi's forcible action into the sports with glittery golf tours, major boxing bouts, a new football club rights had come during the times when Saudi human rights protesters have been imprisoned. When Saudi's missile has slaughtered more than thousands of Yemeni civilizations and also when Khashoggi was hewed into pieces in Istanbul at the Saudi consulate. Saudi Arabia didn't create sports washing but beneath Mohammed bin Salman the country is now almost in its cheeky efforts to use the glamour of sports to rebrand and distract the watch from its human rights record. 
Norman calls himself a determined supporter and a strong proselyte in playing and developing enormous golf in Asia, and the promotion of the new Supreme League is a necessary first step in supporting the rising market and creating a new platform for valuable players in, with rich playing opportunities. And it conveys that this project will become a rival to the dominant PGA Tour events. Phil Mickelson's league comment. Mickelson has revealed that he's in talks to join the rival league while refusing to talk extensively on the human rights abuses carried out by the Saudi government. We know they had a hand in Khashoggi's elimination despite being aware. Why would I even consider it? Because this is a great opportunity to reshape the operations of the PGA Tour. They've been able to get away with manipulative and coercive tendencies because we, the players, had no recourse, he added. Justin Thomas, a pro PGA player, has described the recent comments of Phil Mickelson regarding his reasoning for possibly jumping to the Saudi Arabia-backed Super Golf League as egotistical. Sounds a little egotistical. He achieved a whole lot for the PGA Tour and that contribution has placed it at an inevitable height. However, if he and others are passionate about it, they should go ahead to the Super League and no one is going to stop them. Joel Dahman, a pro PGA player, has said that Phil speaks for just himself. Phil has said a couple of clever and not so clever things, but he speaks for himself. Although the PGA Tour had previously reported that they would not grant any PGA stars to play in this controversial tournament, even the European Tour no longer authorizes it. 